The History of Iced Coffee Some people will assert that drinking hot coffee is a religious practice. Iced coffee is relatively new, but hot coffee has been enjoyed since the 15th century. The preferred beverage among baby boomers is reportedly hot coffee. However, the current generation of 20-somethings is on the side of iced coffee. Iced coffee appears to be the way of the future, but when did it first come to light? Are you interested in learning about the history of iced coffee and how people started enjoying the popular beverage cold? Keep watching and you'll soon find out how iced coffee has become one of the world's favorite drinks. What is iced coffee? Simply put, iced coffee is what it sounds like – fresh brewed coffee that has been served over ice. With this simple method, all you have to do is brew as usual, let it cool and then serve it over ice. The coffee is diluted using this procedure though. You can make your iced coffee extra robust by doubling the amount of ground coffee you put in your coffee maker to avoid the ice watering down your chilly beverage. Making coffee ice cubes is another approach to boost the flavour. Coffee that has cooled should be poured into an ice cube tray, frozen and used for a subsequent iced coffee. The first iced coffee there are neither any records nor many documents that refer to cold coffee. So little is known about the origins of iced coffee. However, this beverage has been very popular over time and various cultures have interpreted it in accordance with their own culinary traditions. One of the more credible claims states that French Algeria is where the first iced coffee first appeared about 1840. Mazagran, which was basically the first iced coffee, is a drink made only with cold water, sugar and coffee syrup. Its creators, a legion of French soldiers in Algeria, are credited with giving it its name. During the Battle of Mazagran, the French forces created a cold, sweet coffee beverage. As part of the 17-year conquest of Algeria, the French army was involved in combat with Arab and Berber forces at the time. They opted to sip their coffee cold, to beat the heat after their supply of milk ran out. The same kind of coffee, which was produced by combining water and coffee syrup, was also given to other soldiers in the area of Mazagran. Coffee on ice was then born. The soldiers of Mazagran suggested to the café proprietors that they serve customers this novel variety of coffee upon their return to Paris. They suggested serving this coffee in a large glass. From that point forward, this coffee was referred to as Mazagran. Since then, iced coffee has been popular in a wide variety of recipes and forms. Due to a marketing initiative by the American Joint Coffee Trade Publicity Committee, iced coffee saw a surge in the 1920s. However, the emergence of major franchises like Starbucks and Dunkin' led to its global dispersion. Today's versions of iced coffee typically include espresso, filtered coffee or coffee syrup with ice cubes, milk and flavourings. In 1995, Starbucks introduced the Frappuccino, which combines a frappe with a cappuccino. Why did iced coffee become a thing? Compared to hot coffee, iced coffee is a real refreshment. You won't ever again burn your tongue on a cup of extremely hot coffee, which means everything you eat for the rest of the week will taste strange. You can start drinking the coffee right away. You don't need to wait for it to get warm enough to consume. The most unpleasant thing about hot coffee is that if you don't drink it quickly enough, it merely turns cold instead of going from hot to lukewarm. Even if iced coffee is as chilly as lukewarm coffee at its warmest, that's still better than nothing. The taste of the iced coffee is then identical to that of when it is extremely cold. A very different situation arises when coffee that was once hot turns cold. Coffee that has been brewed cold is significantly less acidic than coffee that has been heated up. Compared to hot coffee, it is really up to 67% less acidic, which is healthy for your teeth and stomach. Iced coffee is healthier and more flavorful than hot coffee since it has a bitter taste due to the acidity in coffee. You may get iced coffee in a variety of flavors, including salted caramel, strawberry and vanilla. You can also choose a natural iced coffee if you enjoy the flavor of coffee. Do you want to give something totally new a shot? Pick a yogurt iced coffee, an Oreo iced coffee or a Bailey's iced coffee instead. Popular iced coffee variations around the world Despite having French Algerian roots, iced coffee has been consumed in a variety of forms ever since the second half of the 19th century. Cha Fe A, a very good iced coffee recipe, is Vietnamese in origin. 
there must be an iced coffee variety, because Vietnam is one of the major producers of coffee worldwide. Condensed milk is used in this recipe to sweeten the beverage, in addition to French press-extracted coffee and ice cubes. Beginning in the early 20th century, coffee and its cold counterpart swept over South America. Café Helado, one of the most well-known iced coffee recipes, originated in Chile. Espresso, ground coffee powder, chantilly cream, cinnamon, vanilla, dulce de leche, and chopped almonds or hazelnuts are used to make this variation. If this is still insufficient, the basic recipe can be supplemented with vanilla ice cream. These elements can now be combined in a variety of ways, each person picking their preferred combinations based on taste. With the addition of ice cream and whipped cream, coffee on the rocks has become more popular in Australia. This mixture also includes syrup, chocolate, milk and coffee beans as ingredients. The Café del Tiempo, an iced coffee of Iberian origin, is a tasty form of iced coffee in Europe. This Valencian and Andalusian speciality beverage is made with long coffee, ice and citrus fruits. A myth holds that the invention of the Salento variation is related to Spanish iced coffee. Iced coffee is a delicious refreshment that can be enjoyed all year, not just in the summer. Now that you're aware of how iced coffee came to be, you can remember the history of the beverage the next time you order an iced latte from Starbucks. As always, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Do you have any video suggestions for us in the future? If there's a topic you want to learn more about, comment it down below and we'll be sure to get to it soon.